Well, hey friends, it's Mandy with Sweetly Home, and today I'm teaming up with some friends to share with you some DIYs and craft projects for Christmas. So I am going to be sharing with you how I put together my garland. I don't have a mantle. Instead, I sort of decorate this really large bookcase in my living room. And I have been putting this garland around it for the past two years, and I love how it looks this year. So very simply, we are going to start with the garland itself. This is just a inexpensive garland that I picked up probably from Walmart. I've had it for years and years, and I intertwined it with just a dollar store skinny mini garland, and I tied them together and twisted them to make it just a bit more fuller. And the key to garlands is that you want to fluff them. This takes a bit of time, but you need to do it. You want your garland to look as full as possible, and pulling all of these little strands apart is what's going to give you that fullness. So put on a Christmas movie and get to town. When it comes to the lights, I really recommend to use a green strand of light. Sometimes you can find white ones, and those are generally used for weddings or to light a white tree. Um, you just want to make sure that the lights are evenly dispersed throughout the garland and tuck the wires deep inside. You don't want to see anything kind of poking out. Make it seamless. When it comes to actually hanging your garland, I like to just tie a little bit of string into a loop at the different points that I'm going to hang my garland. So I basically have one for each corner of the bookshelf and I just use a couple of tacks and I push it into the wood. It's an old bookcase, I'm not really that concerned about it, but I would recommend using command hooks if you have those available. Those will hurt, hold your garland really well and uh, keep it secure all Christmas season long. And here's what it looks like pre-decor, pre-having um, a whole lot of stuff in it to make it fluffy. As you can see, I kind of have some things on the bookshelf itself for decoration and this is kind of a long shot of what it looks like okay so now we're gonna decorate this is the only thing that did not come from the dollar store but they were dollar store prices these picks were from Michaels and they were two dollars when they were 60% off so really great price there so what I'm doing is I'm adding um, them evenly into the gar garland I have five so I'm going to add two on the top one in the very center of the garland, and then two on the sides. For the two picks on the sides of the garland, you can see I have them pointed downward, just as if they were actually on a tree itself. Um, they would kind of point downward due to gravity. You can kind of see just how I have everything here. And I did fluff these out as well. You want them to take up as much expanse as possible. Next, I'm adding in these large faux mercury gold balls. And these came from the Dollar Tree. They are gorgeous. I have several on my Christmas tree. And since I only had two, I decided to flank the center pick with these two balls. My goal with this garland is to keep things symmetrical, but at the same time, slightly random. Next, I'm adding in these dollar store snowflakes. They are big, they are cream colored, and they are so beautiful. They came 10 to a pack, but I only used nine because I want things to be even. And so what I did is I, when I would place one on the garland, I would add it to the other side of the garland on the opposite side. And as you can see, I've kind of made them in a zigzag pattern. So I've got one on the left, one on the right, one on the left. And then when it came to the top of the garland, I did the same thing. I have one snowflake on the top, one in the center on the bottom, and then another on top of the garland as well. And then they continue on down the side and they just, they're even and they're it just gives the eye something to bounce around and look at, and it's not so chaotic. I have these pretty gold ornaments that I picked up from the Dollar Tree, and these this entire pack was one dollar. Actually, it's a dollar twenty-five here in Canada. But what an amazing price! I love that there is a snowflake detail painted on some of these, and 
anything glitter like totally catches my eye I just love it so I actually had these set of ornaments left over from last year and they're the perfect match I think they must have come from the Dollar Tree because they just go together so perfectly and I tucked them into the garland I added ornament hooks and hooked them on and again I did try and keep it even so if I placed a gold ball on um, a gold glitter ball on one side I would do the same on the other it just allows randomness but at the same time just a lot of symmetry which is just so very pleasing to the eye and as you can see the garland is starting to get very full I've had these pretty little snowball picks for seriously like eight years. Um, I picked up a whole bunch of them one year. I just was so in love with them and they go really great with the garland this year. So what I'm just going to do here is I am literally just tucking them right into any spots of the garland that kind of look not as full as maybe I would want it to be. I must have lost the footage, but I added these teeny tiny little white snowflakes. Again, those are from the Dollar Tree. You get a ton and a pack, and they are $1.25 in Canada, $1 in the US. And I added them randomly. I know. Are you shocked? <laughs> um, this is where the whole garland starts to come together because you kept everything symmetrical. Now you can add in bits of randomness and it's so pleasing to the eye. It's just a tiny little feature, quite a lot of snowflakes, but intermittent with the symmetry of all of your other elements, it just brings such beauty. So here's the top of my bookshelf. I went with a white theme. I collect cardboard houses and I added them to the top. So this is a um, coffee filter wreath that I made a few years ago. I ended up taking the red ribbon away. I wasn't going to use that ribbon in particular, but I was thinking of adding a big red bow. Um, I opted not to do that, so that was just kind of a test to see if I'd like the red. Um, but here is just a look at the top of everything. I love how spending just a few dollars can transform an ordinary garland into something just so very magical and so very pretty. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe and hang out a little bit longer here. Make sure that you click the description box down below for the other gals participating in this collaboration. I am so excited to see what they have come up with. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Christmas season. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Have a great day.